going to do a walk around the property right now and see if I can get some fresh flowers for Alicia because the ones I got last week are unfortunately dead. Uh, we can never keep them alive long, so I'm going to see what I can find around the property. It's a beautiful day. These are coming in really nice. I won't be cutting these. Looking for anything with a vibrant color that stands out. Some orange, some yellow, some white flowers maybe. Oh, there's some flowers down there. I like these. Watch them be some type of poisonous flower. I'll be covered in a rash. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do some cutting here. Purple, pink. I like these. I need the bigger, the bigger scissors, the bigger clippers. I'll take this. This one. Just the other day, Alicia and I were sitting on this rock, and there was no water here. Our brook is a river. I have to show these roses. These are Elisha's favorite roses. And they are, gosh, look at these. They're incredible. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't need orange roses in their life? Passed it have chases and Dayton's. <laughs> and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. Elisha and I just fixed that window that I broke in the winter time. I think when it happened, we didn't even mention that it happened because we were so like, oh my gosh, we broke a window. It was the coldest night of the entire winter. And as you know, we had a huge pile of wood for the wood stove here. And it was about three o'clock in the morning and Philip was like, I'm gonna go put some more wood in. The house is getting a little bit chilly. Yeah. Everyone was sleeping. So he goes down really quietly he's like, I'm just gonna toss in a few pieces of wood in through the window because it's so cold. And it was literally like minus 30, colder than that with the wind chill. Yeah, it was So cold. he's like, I'm just gonna grab a few pieces, reset the fire, put for the morning so the house is warm. So you open up the window and when he went to open the window up, these windows, they have mechanisms so that you can clean the windows more easily. And they kind of like, you can open them and they'll lean. So you can, so you can them open from them from the top side and so this channel, right? I lifted the window up from the bottom up. By the way, this is gonna let in so much more light into <laughs> our beautiful pantry. He lifted it up and when he lifted it up to be able to have room to put the wood through, it fell off the runner and smashed, right? Like Yeah, and I think it was so cold that it didn't it even was... hit hard. It just was 
a combination of factors. So I am dead sleeping upstairs. Like I am out for the count. It's literally like three, three thirty in the morning, and all yeah. of a sudden I hear, "Darn it! Shoot! Shucks!" All the words, and I'm like, <laughs> come flying down the stairs, and he's standing there, just like in the pantry now, because he'd come in the house to like look at everything, and he was just like we have a broken window and he felt so discouraged because he was just trying to keep the house warm so it was because the coldest night literally of the winter luckily i always have plywood and stuff in the art room and so yeah. we came and put a bunch of sheets of the corner plywood on the back and then we sealed it with tape from the inside so no drafts well no drafts. first we loaded the first we loaded the house up with wood yeah and then we fixed everything i got the fire going and and it was so windy we were holding on to it for dear life <laughs> yeah. trying to keep it on so today we decided that since it was nice out, we were going to get the screens back in, replace the window, and then, well, there's a bit of moss clean up here, so we'll do that while we're out here because this lets in so much more light. We didn't really realize how much uh, like actual natural light we're missing out on having that boarded up still. Yeah. And it's just a project we haven't got to. But now that we're in the pantry, we thought we would do it. So we're going to get the windows clean, get the screens on, and then we can send this bottom piece to get repaired because it's always nice to have a bottom piece because clearly I'm going to do it one day cleaning the windows. <laughs> And then we can have one aside. So we're gonna get that taken somewhere so that we can get it fixed. Yeah, they are nice windows. Nova Scotia <laughs> moss, or it's not even moss, what is it? Like it's a, like an algae. Algae, yeah. The whole house is white. It would probably be all over the house. It has been the entire year that we've been here. We had a little temporary setup for the washer and dryer for just a couple of months. And when everything blew with the septic, it got completely disconnected. And so we're finally, although we're not finished this area, able to do laundry in the permanent location that our laundry machines are going to be in. What? a uh, relief. Oh my gosh. Especially when we're doing renovation, right? We go through clothes like crazy because we're, you know, using the sawdust or we're using mortar and tile or you anything spill like that. paint? Yeah. <laughs> Who spills paint? I spill paint. <laughs> <laughs> Way to wrap me up, Bill. <laughs> but just so nice to have them in their permanent spot. And then that little revamp we did yesterday, super fun. And we're excited to get going with this pantry renovation. Gonna need a folding table, I think, though, now that we that we have this space, right? I can get you one right now. Yeah, my, I do have my table here already. Want me to go get it? In the pantry room, having the washer and dryer, but also a completely functional homesteading pantry. Our fridge is going to be in this location here with some built-in around cabinets as well. So think about like enclosed shelving, open shelving, we're gonna have a caddy and a whole bunch of stuff here with its built-ins, with the countertops, and then our farmhouse sink is going to be here. So this room's gonna be fully functioning, but also multi-purpose. And so I thought that having a table, such as this one here with a couple little stools, would be great to have for a folding table or to have to be able to do baking at, or just be able to sort materials or fill containers or whatever I wanna use it for. And this table is fantastic because it has three drawers on this side, three on the other side. And then as you can see, these legs of the table fold out so I can drop a leaf on this side or drop a leaf on this side. And then this table can get tucked away somewhere in the pantry room if I don't want it in the way. So it's so many possibilities and it does have these really cute drawers on both sides. So you have three on this side and three on this side and the stools are just small. So they can also get tucked away if for some reason we needed to utilize a larger space in here without having the table. The table's perfect, it's okay. key. And then the only other thing is I'm not sure about, maybe our YouTube family can tell me, but so all of the cabinets that are in this room are going to be painted white to match and be cohesive with the kitchen space and it's gonna have the gold hardware. And then the countertop is almost identical to the kind that we had in there. It's just from Ikea instead of the laminate that we got from the hardware store. It's just a nice, thick, chunky countertop. It's gonna be really great for the pantry and easy wipe off. This is the flooring that's gonna be in here. We're gonna finish running it all the way underneath the washer and dryer. Should the stools for this table stay black? Because remember, we're gonna have a black wood stove in the kitchen space. So we will have a little bit of black tied in between both spaces. We have the space gray here with the gold. 
the white sink, white cabinets, gold hardware. Should these be gold? Oh my gosh. Should they be <laughs> white or should they be black? I don't want to do a pop of color because I have some other ideas to add color to this space. So gold, black, or white stools. Okay, vote. What is it, a hole? Yeah, it's a hole. <laughs> Obviously, it would be a hole. Why wouldn't it be a hole? <laughs> <laughs> Good old old house patchwork. <laughs> oh, that's awful. They literally covered where a vent hole was. So when you buy an old house, you just never know what you're going to find. And we found this hole in the ground a couple of weeks back. And our plumber was able to rectify the issue, but we, this originally would have been a toilet spot and they left the plumbing just exposed, which meant that any of the fumes would have been able to come up into the house. And the people before us left that open like that with no cap or anything on it. And then they just laid flooring over top of it. So when we exposed and took up that flooring that they had laid, that's what we found. So luckily that's fixed now. And it's actually now their plumbing that's run from our laundry all underneath the floor. It spouts through there and then heads into the basement. So that's fixed. But you can see they just kind of covered over everything, like over there as well, with flooring that they put in, which was really particle boardy and really cardboardy. So what we're putting in is this incredibly waterproof flooring that can never be damaged by the water. We thought older house, that was the best solution to be able to put on the floor. You're dirty already. Yeah, fresh <laughs> clothes, but. <laughs> I'm getting dirty. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting back into the mixer and now I'm <laughs> getting back to making messes. <laughs> but finishing spaces. Finishing spaces. So we had some questions of uh, some of our YouTube family were asking, where is this pantry room in relation to the kitchen? Well, I'm sitting in the kitchen doorway right now. So it's a complete walkthrough from the kitchen into this pantry space. So we're considering it the same space and working on this renovation yes. because Everything in here is cohesive. It's gonna be basically one and the same for both rooms. Mm -hmm. How nice to finally get the flooring finished in this space. We knew we couldn't tackle this part of it until that plumbing and electrical was done. And this is the last bit of flooring on the main floor to get put in. Like, incredible, I feel so good. It, it'll be rewarding getting this done. Putting the washer and dryer where they're gonna go. Yeah. And then no more moving the washer and dryer. <laughs> for a week. <laughs> Man, I don't want any repeat customers here. Yeah. Shuffle the boxes when you put flooring in. Yeah. Or you'll have four or five of the same one out of the ten that come in the box and then they'll be side by side and it won't look like real wood flooring. It will look like you had a pattern going on on the floor. You know what's also so nice? We have two windows worth of light coming in. Like it's stormy out right now and look at how much bright is in here and we don't even have any of the new lighting or anything in. So nice. Well, it's nice that we have the wood off of that window. And <laughs> that's that what I mean. Back like... in function again as a window. So that's the window from inside. That we broke. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we've been working with the mini fridge and this is our freezer that we're going to be putting in the basement so that's not going to be in this space here and this little mini fridge is just going to be in the location that our normal size fridge is going to go when that gets here and then we'll be able to build the built-in so right now we're just going to get this whole side cleared so that we can move the washer and dryer and everything back once the flooring's there get the freezer into the basement and move the little fridge and then we'll be ready to start building on this l shape here in the pantry room putting our life in boxes erasing the memory so you won't notice i'm taking the time to focus you're by yourself i'm by myself we can just see the table saw <clears throat> But you can show my face. YouTube family, I have safety specs. <laughs> safety specs. Oh, durable paint lasts a long time. Did you just ding my gold? Yeah, I did. It stayed <laughs> on. It did. Flooring 
is done in the pantry room. That was a huge accomplishment just because it took us a few months to get to the part where electrical and plumbing and everything was ready to be able to put into this space. So this is just like so amazing to have this part done because that means that we get to start building up this room literally from the floor up. So we love this part. So the next step, what you might have seen earlier in the video where I was kneeling down in front of the washer and dryer, you're probably like, girl, get off your knees. You are not getting any younger. <laughs> you need to have those raised up. So what I want to do is build a pedestal and box it and frame in where cabinetry is going to go for the washer and dryer so that I'm not going to be on my knees in front of the washer and dryer grabbing laundry out. It's going to be up more of the sort of hip height to be able to pull things out and then fold at the table and things like that also provide some additional storage. So that is the next step in addition to building the cabinetry that will house this farmhouse sink, which will basically be one big unit here to be able to house everything that's going to go on this wall. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.